For months now, work has been progressing to bring to fruition the crudely conceived idea of a transmission capable of transmitting mechanical torque not via the normal means, leveraging repulsion between electrons in adjacent bodies of metallic alloy, but instead via long-range flux interactions, leveraging unpaired quantum spins to relay epicycloidal motion. Such an instrument is the magneto-turbo-encabulator. Like many other devices where the generation of power is based on the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, this unit receives impulse via hard mechanical coupling to this carefully constructed armature, which in turn has transformed the chemopotential energy found within an ordinary galvanic pile. However, on the other side of this coupler, that's where the magic happens. As this mechanical impulse passes from layer to layer, velocity decreases, while theoretical maximum moment of force increases. In addition, the minimal contact environment within the magneto and turbo encabulator creates waste vibrations with nearly hypersonic amplitudes. When resolved on the complex plane, the well-constrained reciprocating motion of the penultimate orbiting carrier pseudogear is merely exponentiated time multiplied by i, the imaginary constant, or j for all you electrical engineers, and a rate constant, which we are measuring here with a relatively mundane optical photogate. Minute and random variations in the quantum zero-point energy stimulate the recombination of electrons and holes, creating super terahertz radiation here. This radiation is incident on a series of silicate-based substrates that have had their backside coated with electroconductive elemental deposition. These layers are extremely thin. Surface plasmons are then used to redirect this two electron volt radiation into a small sample of chalcogenide salt. Now, this small sample of chalcogenide salt does admittedly contain a significant fraction of heavy metals. So the data sheet for the magneto turbo encabulator clearly marks this component as unsafe for human consumption. Now, Alpha Phoenix Industries always recommends reading the entire owner's manual, user's manual, technical service manual, and all relevant material safety data sheets before looking in the general direction of the shipping container in which the magneto turbo encabulator will be delivered. If this system were not purely aesthetic and was capable of transmitting a significant torque without stall, then this photogate arrangement could be replicated on the output shaft and then phasers could be used to determine the output moment of force. As it is, the system only ships with angular rate measurement capabilities, so keep that in mind when you're specking your system. Now, if you are calculating the output moment of force and you want to convert to Tor hectare meters or BTU, then you'll need to account for the non-Hookian nature of these magnetic force elements in the final stage. Observe, as I simulate an unexpected divergence in the output moment of force, the penultimate magnetic sun continues its oscillation in the complex plane after overcoming a brief activation potential barrier. This serves both to limit the output mechanical force applied by this device, as well as protect more delicate upstream components from total mechanical failure downstream of the magneto turbo encabulator. And that's about all there is to it. It's worth noting though that the historic device that you may be familiar with was surmounted in a logarithmic casing, primarily consisting of prefamulated amulite, while this prototype of the magneto turbo encabulator primarily consists of a cellulose-based organic composite that has been coated in a fine metallic dust and is mounted on a relatively simple bamboo workbench. Now, the magneto turbo encabulator is far from completion, but I'm very, very confident that in no more than 10 years of relatively uneconomical levels of research and development, there will be one in every home. Thank you for your interest in the Magneto Turbo Encambulator, and for more information, contact your local representative.